I, I've been uh, talking about this. One of the one of the interesting sideshows going on about this debate about Obamacare has been both in the House and the Senate, where Senator David Vitter wanted to stop federal contributions that will help pay for health coverage for lawmakers and their staff. In other words, he doesn't want the uh, federal government to function like other uh, employers do. Um, he wants staffers to end up having to pay an extra five grand a year or whatever it is for their health care. It's an Obama administration regulation that allows the federal government to pay a portion of members and staffers insurance on the Obamacare exchanges, which they must enter under the new law. It would also require the president and the White House political appointees to get on the exchanges as well. As opposed to getting uh, government uh, supplied health insurance. Several Republicans won't say whether they would voluntarily give up the federal contributions if the uh, Vitter Amendment fails. So Senator Ryan, Rand Paul was just like, well, if everybody's getting the subsidies, my guys will get it too. The employer contribution could amount to the equivalent of $5,000 pay cut for a person buying insurance as an individual, according to health care ex- experts. And it could lead to a mass exodus of staffers from Capitol Hill. Hey, say what you want. The reality is, is that even um, members of Congress, their pay is not kept up with inflation. As much as I don't like the specific members of Congress and think that the work that they're doing is subpar, the reality is we want people to be able to get involved in public service. If you're a good congressperson going back and forth from D.C., it is not exactly the easiest of lives. And it costs money. And I don't want just millionaires to be able to work in our government. Uh, Or, you know, people being subsidized or just waiting to cash in as Phil Gingrey claims, when this uh, debate about the Vitter Amendment, and I should say that in the Senate, Harry Reid proposed uh, tweaking this amendment to saying that you are eligible to the, for these subsidies unless you have seen a prostitute. <laughs> Just to get at uh, Senator Vitter, I don't think that's going anywhere. Uh, But behind a closed door conference meeting last week of Republican congressmen, Representative Phil Gingrey spoke up about the complaints about staffers not being able to afford health insurance if they don't get this subsidy. You remember Phil Gingrey is the one who um, had to call into uh, Rush Limbaugh and apologize for saying something mean about him in Politico. Uh, we actually have a video that we can repost uh, that um, was our take on it at uh, Break Room Live. But uh, Gingry has introduced the No Special Treatment for Congress Act. Joining a letter, uh, joining uh, Senator Vitter on trying to shut down these subsidies. Phil Gingry, incidentally, is a millionaire worth at least three million dollars and he said in reference to capitol hill aides who are crying about this hey maybe they're 33 years old now and not making a lot of money but in a few years they can just go to k street and make five hundred thousand dollars a year meanwhile i'm stuck here making 172 thousand dollars a year Living off the earn the interest from my three million dollars assets. It's unbelievable. And the reality is that the uh the 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 lower rung staffers on Capitol Hill, they don't have an opportunity to go to K Street. It's the chief of staffs, and frankly, it's the former congressmen who have that opportunity more than anybody. So there's Phil Gingry showing what an ass he is, and also simultaneously showing what an ass he is. Unbelievable. 
I think that's what we call a twofer. <laughs>